Candida cruzii is a budding yeast, a species of fungus, involved in chocolate production. Candida cruzii is an emerging fungal nosocomial pathogen primarily found in the immunocompromised and those with hematological malignancies. It has natural resistance to fluconazole, a standard antifungal agent. It is most often found in patients who have had prior fluconazole exposure, sparking debate and conflicting evidence as to whether fluconazole should be used prophylactically. Mortality due to C. cruzii fungemia is much higher than the more common C. albicans. Other candida species that also fit this profile are C. parasilosis, C. glabrata, C. tropicalis, C. gillermandii and C. rugosa. Candida cruzii can be successfully treated with boriconazole, amphotericin B, and the echinocandins micafungin, caspofungin, and anigilifungin. Cacao beans have to be fermented to remove the bitter taste and break them down. This takes place with two fungi, C. cruzii and geotricum. Most of the time, the two fungi are already present on the seed pods and seeds of the cacao plant, but in modern chocolate making, specific strains are used. Each chocolate company uses its own strains, which have been selected to provide optimum flavor and aroma to the chocolate. The yeasts reproduce every few hours, and soon there are thousands of individual yeast cells in a small area, which produce enzymes to break down the pulp on the outside of the beans. This makes acetic acid, killing the cacao embryo inside the seed, developing a chocolatey aroma and eliminating the bitterness in the beans. C. cruzii grows at a maximum temperature of 43 to 45 degrees Celsius. Although most of the medically important candida species require biotin for growth and some have additional vitamin requirements, only C. cruzii can grow in vitamin-free media. However, of the medically important candida species, C. cruzii is perhaps the only species which grows on Sabarod's dextrose agar is spreading colonies with a matte or a rough whitish-yellow surface, in contrast to the convex colonies of other candida SPP. This characteristic, together with its long grain rice appearance on microscopy, helps the definitive identification of the species. A complex variety of fatty acids has been demonstrated as metabolites when C. cruzii is grown in culture media containing lactose. It is also able to produce a number of short-chain carboxylic acids when cultured in saliva supplemented with glucose. These include acetate, pyruvate, succinate, propionate, formate, and lactate. The biological role of these, if any, is as yet unknown. Candida cruzii is a very interesting type of fungus due to the fact that patients that obtain this fungus result in the lowest 90-day survival period among all candida species that have been currently found.